Hello, I'm Jamie Petroviak, and I run a website called MachineToolHelp.com. And what I'm going to show you today is a nice little program for helping you to troubleshoot uh, RS-232 communication problems. Um, this little program is called Terminal, and it's uh, free on the available on the internet. And um, what it does is uh, allows you to have a nice little open panel window here and some of your RS-232 programs out there have this built into them um, but I prefer using uh, this little program and what we're gonna do is uh, what's nice about it is you can do a couple things um, it gives you the option shows you which COM ports are available um, cause apparently you got multiple devices um, on your PC that it, it has a COM port assigned to it um, I know currently that my COM port 2 is my USB to serial so I'm going to use that that com too, and what we're going to do is we click connect. <coughs> now, whenever testing uh, receiving files from a machine, um, that's always the first step when you're troubleshooting our thirty two thirty two settings and parameter settings. So we're going to um, see if we can receive something from the machine. Um, you can start at whatever baud rate you want. I'm just going to go ahead and put ninety six hundred. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the machine, and I'm going to send a file, um, like a let's say a parameter file, a, a big something that's a, a big file, so we can try to prove out um, uh, what uh, you know, basically have the data coming through, so we can change settings on the fly. So we're going to send. Let me get this set up here. Okay, I have the machine ready to be sent, and we're going to go ahead and send the file. Oh, did I hit connect? Notice all the gibberish coming through. Well, some of the settings must not be right. So let's just try playing with some settings here. About oh, 4800. Now look at that. Those look like good, good uh, parameter numbers. So we know our baud rate is 4800. What happens when we change it to, to eight? Notice we got lots of other characters that are coming in there now too. So you can play with these settings and see what kind of changes are made. Notice there's probably any characters there now. But we know that data bits is always seven for any machine tool. Um, parity is supposed to be even as well. Um, but if you, you could change play with the parity, notice that parity doesn't have has little effect when you're actually uh, receiving the data. Now if that was incorrect, sending the data um, then you're going to have uh, oftentimes a parity error on your control. Uh, request to send, clear to send. Um, this stuff also depends on your cable um, communication as well. But generally, X on, X off is what you want to set it up as. Um, we got carriage return line feed. Again, that's uh, another setting. You, need. Um, <clears throat> you can do a custom baud rate if you want. Not that you really have any reason to do that. Um, notice the file is still sending. Uh, while that finishes up, I'll show you the bottom here, in which uh, this is handy for if you want to test out cables and you've got a uh, what they call a loopback tester. Um, if you have a loopback tester, what you can do is uh, let me uh, get a loopback tester here. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and clear all this information out of here. And what's nice is. Well, I've got a loopback tester plugged into the other end of the cable on the DB25 side now and disconnected from the machine. So if we want to check our cable or at least our transmit and receive signals, uh, we can, um, again, just set up like you normally would. And what we can do is we can do the, use this transmit here. We can send a file. Or what I like to use is this little utility here that says transmit macros. And uh, you can put anything you want in here. Test and this is how, how quickly you want to re it's a repeat interval so if I want to click it just say test once notice I transmit a test I receive test click as many times as you want or if you want to do it automatically just click the box and just constantly send test 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 a little space in there um, you can do whatever you like you can test out um, None of this stuff really matters because you're basically just looping it back into your PC right now. Also, if you uh, need to turn on 
uh, data transmit or data, data terminal ready you can do so uh, manually by clicking each one of these or request to send you can do it manually as well notice it turns on some of the clear to send up here all right so that also allows you to do different things with your PC turn that off and that's just a little quick uh, demo um, you can also send a file as well if you want to send a short program Notice I'm looping it back into my PC. You can look at it, just verify your cable. It doesn't I draw good characters if you have any cable issues or grounding issues in the cable? Um, you'd see some um, odd characters as well. Okay. Also, when you're using a loopback tester, though, if you have a 200 foot cable and you're looping it back to your PC, um, you're actually, in a sense, saying that data communications over 400 feet. So uh, keep that in mind when you're testing out cables. And that's the demonstration on uh, using this uh, terminal program. Thank you for visiting machinetoolhelp.com. Um, we also, if you have any problems, um, you can also come to our uh, CNC troubleshooting forum and um, post your questions or help out others um, within the forum. Thank you for visiting machinetoolhelp.com.